Well, as the country continues to watch the ANC celebrate its birthday today, uh, President Ramaphosa addressing more than 2,000 party members in Kimberley, reaffirming the party's mission uh, to unite the people of this country. SACP's first Deputy General Secretary, uh, Soli Mapaila, joining us uh, on the show. Mr. Mapaila, good afternoon. Happy New Year. I think it's a bit... But like, when you stop saying Happy New Year to someone, so Happy New Year, I, you and I haven't spoken uh, in, in some time. Uh, yeah, good afternoon and Happy New Year to you. Thank you. The well. ANC's mission, the party mission, is to unite the people of South Africa. We've heard from people in Kimberley. Yeah. They don't think the ANC is always getting that right. Is that a fair statement from the people of Kimberley? Well, yes and no. I think uh, on paper, yes, um, the ANC always affirms that. But I think uh, in reality there are challenges uh, which create difficulties. As you know, uh, nation building on its own as a project is quite a, a hectic and, and a difficult process, full of contradictions. And I think that the ANC has navigated that process uh, quite well, was much helped by the launch of the Freedom Charter in 1955 that reaffirmed the non-racial character uh, of the ANC, which it subsequently adopted in its Morogoro Conference in 1969. And ever since then, the NC has been quite committed to inclusiveness in terms of nation building. But of course, because of um, the apartheid legacy, which segregated our people, uh, the integration process has been, has been a bit uh, slower than perhaps in other countries that have attained liberation, where there was no uh, apartheid in the context mm. of what has happened uh, in South Africa. So to that extent, the ANC has done uh, quite, uh, quite uh, significantly, and I think it must be applauded for that. If we think about to uh, one of the uh, gentlemen we'll speak about now, uh, the titan himself, Joe Slover, if he was to look at how the ANC uh, has handled things from a practical perspective, he was incredibly pragmatic, he was incredibly theoretical, uh, but he was also able to execute what he said. It's, it's the basis of what the SACP uh, lives off of uh, those beliefs. Uh, is the ANC at least moving in the direction as far as the SACP and your alliance goes? Uh, do you think what the ANC is doing for its members and its people. Uh, would Joe Slovo agree with the, the speed at which it's being done? Well, firstly, let's applaud that uh, the ANC has reached this milestone of uh, 108 years. And I think uh, coming specifically to the question, uh, Joe Slovo will be happy with the progress that uh, has been made. But like in all other revolutions, we always say that um, the pace of a revolution uh, should be different from a scientific time uh, in a sense that uh, when you have inherited uh, a society full of inequalities, whether it's uh, racial inequality, class inequality, gender inequality, the resolution of such problems which are manifested in the economic system that we have uh, requires a much more social progress, an active social progress, almost that should beat the scientific time. That's why uh, President Mandela will, will pose the question that we can't ask our people to postpone hunger or being poor or being sick. So to that extent, that's, that's the, 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 the biggest challenge of any revolution, how to be ahead of the challenges facing a, a particular society. So Joe Slovo will applaud the successes that we've made, but he will also theorize and articulate the challenges that we face and even put some uh, solutions on what he think uh, can be done to resolve them. Is the SACP still angry with the ANC over the Joe Slovo commemoration, or are we all friends? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a non-issue for us. Um, of course, the, the issue was that uh, a, a commitment was made. Um, we will never forget Joe Slovo as the Communist Party. I think uh, that, that one is assured. Uh, Joe Slovo was a, a, a communist, a, a revolutionary par excellence, who has contributed immensely to the life of the ANC itself, who has taken the most difficult task of the ANC and of our revolution as a whole, and that uh, is an inspiring to us and to even uh, the coming generation. We'll continue to make sure that his memory lives on. And together with many other stalwarts of our movement and heroes and heroines who, who gave their all uh, to the freedom that we enjoy today. Is the SACP not insulted? I mean, you've just given uh, a beautiful tribute to Joe Slovo, quite correctly, a, a titan of a man. But the ANC didn't pitch up, did they? Well, the mayor of Johannesburg, uh, Comrade Jeff Makubu, was there, uh, is the chairperson of the ANC region. And there were other senior leaders of the ANC who may not have a particular title of being uh, uh, in this particular, say, the NEC. What we missed was a member of the NEC present. 
But uh, it's neither here nor there for us. Uh, what is important is that uh, they must go and back and reflect on this thing, whether this is how they want to, to celebrate their stalwarts. Because Joe Slovo, if you know, was the first um, white comrade to be elected National Executive Committee member of the African National Congress. In fact, he fulfilled the mission of the ANC uh, ahead of many others when he was not yet allowed to be a member of the ANC, mm -hmm. uh, together with President Nelson Mandela on behalf of the Communist Party. Uh, they and Mandela, President Mandela on behalf of the ANC, they established him contour season. Later on, he became its chief of staff and he led its special operations unit. And he was always in the front line. So for a man who has made that kind of contribution, when he's honored, it's only fair that the ANC should uh, pay uh, due respect. I think many would agree with you. Uh, a final question to you before I say goodbye. Are you giving the ANC a birthday present? It's in a nice big box for the 108th. Uh, what's your present uh, from the SACP to the ANC? What do you give them? The present is a, is a job. Uh, to resolve the economic challenges facing our people and to get our people involved in the solutions that uh, we seek to deal with uh, the rate of unemployment and inequality in the economy and to sort out our state-owned entities and to fight corruption head-on uh, without fear or favor. And we think uh, in that way the ANC will actually give uh, the people a, a better present because the ANC has been established as a movement of the people. Mm. Its primary mission to unite our people and to make sure that uh, we fight against imperialism and colonialism and to have freedom that everyone can enjoy. So we can just remind them of their basic task and duty. So it's a present for the ANC, but it's more of a present for South Africa, isn't it? Yeah, I appreciate your time <laughs> Thank uh, you coming in to speak to us this afternoon. The uh, SACP's uh, first Deputy General Secretary, Soli Mapaila.